No Bradley Beal, no Davis Bertans in the bubble in Orlando, which means it's time for a youth movement with the Washington Wizards. Let's dive in and see what exactly do they have. Is Rui Hachimura the real deal? Guy I was really high about on in my pre-draft video, which you can find up at top. Guy who can create his own shot in the mid-range, step backs, even against Kawhi. But you can tell, still needs to get more confidence. Let this fly from three. Good way. You can always watch the coaches to see what they think about a guy's shot selection. As you see both of them there, shoot the ball. First one was probably open, but you know what? He can still get a shot off like this, even over Kawhi Leonard. That's a pretty special talent right there. Isak Banga, young player from Germany. Got a little Luol Deng in him. I'll show you why. And then Thomas Bryan. I'll show you why to me. Belongs in the hall of thoroughly mediocre. And why I'm not really sold on the pretty decent contract the Wizards gave him. Despite his ability. Knocked down the occasional three. What do the Wizards have? Rui Hachimura. Isak Banga. Thomas Bryant. Deep dive in this video. Bonus video on Patreon. Looking at Troy Brown. Jerome Robinson. Whole bunch more of the Wizards young prospects. Rui, like I said, first and foremost, I don't need 10 million stats to back it up. He passes the eye test. There are a few guys in the league at this four type position up there with Siakam and Giannis who can handle the ball in that four spot, create plays from the top, get to the basket, finish with both hands. That is a super, super valuable skill set, the ability to handle the ball in tight spaces, finish over length. Knock down the occasional three. Obviously, that's a pretty big question for him. But if he can knock down threes, that's just the icing on the cake. His form is all right. Feet tend to come apart a little bit. Shot's a little bit of a line drive, but it's gotten better. You can see clearly touch is still pretty good. Good footwork, well coached by Mark Few at Gonzaga. Good feel for the game. Him and Bonga have a good chemistry together. Great pass. On the back door cut there by Rui. He's got a high level feel. Good IQ. Getting up. Pressuring. Stealing the pass to Kawhi. He can get in passing lanes. He's got good length. Good body. Again, you see. Bit of a line drive. But he's shooting it better from three than I expected he would be at this point. Got good discipline. Good balance. Good follow through. Just needs to continue to get it up a little bit. It's so flat. Probably because where he thrives again is in the mid-range. Good zone buster is him basically just working his way across the middle. He finds a way to get open and get that little 15 or so footer off with the best of them. Shot fake, add a dribble, no problem too. Very fundamental, very skilled. How about a little hezzy pull up, late shot clock. He's got that too. This one here, again, the ability to create tough shots, late shot clock, get his own shot off. Even early shot clock here. How about just a simple, hard, left to right crossover, rise up into tr into his spot in transition. That's what we call a kill spot. That's some Jimmy Butler, Kawhi Leonard, DeMar DeRozan type stuff. That's, that's a special skill right there. Good feel for the game. Good slasher. Knows when to move without the ball. And then again, the biggest skill to me, the ability, rebound and go. The Wizards trust him. When he's when he's the four or five even, when he gets rebounds, he's taking it and going the length of the court. Attacking there to get to the free throw line. Look at this. Going right at Jokic. The inside out dribble. Again, maybe passing up a decent shot, but if you can attack, put your body into the big, finish with the left hand, he is super, super skilled. And then again, like I said, good feel. Gets it, he's going. Rebound in traffic. Push it. Nice pass to Bonga. Probably should have been a foul. Versatility. You can put him in a lot of different spots. Again, like Giannis, who I initially compared him to, I know he's not the same athlete, not the same crazy length that Giannis is, but you can use him as a screener, as a ball handler, as a spot-up guy, as a post-up guy. Here you see him in the post. Isos, you can put him in a lot of different situations. Danny Green, this is a longtime vet. He goes at with the rip through. Misses the chippy, but he's not soft either. Goes back to get it. And speaking of soft again, 
Not not soft here, but I'd like to see him dunk this ball. I don't know if he lost a little bit on the way up, but if there's one thing he can continue to improve on a little bit, sometimes he does seem to shy away from a little bit of contact, still getting used to kind of playing with his full athleticism. Nice move here, get Kawhi out of his stance on a little shot fake. Drive baseline with the left hand, draw a foul, but I'd like to see him finish that one too. Again, the little things got to work on continuing to improve, finishing through contact, exploding up to the basket. Those things will come with time. That's when you see the three being short. You see, again, the feet very uneven here. Right ends up way in front of the left. And you see just leaves it a little bit of a line drive. An area he could definitely improve on. Sometimes defensively he could be a little flat-footed too. Obviously no slouch. He's guarding in Kawhi here. Makes a nice quick drive to the baseline. Sometimes he gets left in the mud a little bit. Got to be a bit more active with his feet, ready to go. Isak Banga, like I said, a guy he reminds me of, Luol Dang. Luol was known for these kind of quick catch-and-goes, these quick little drives. And then he's got a good feel for the game. That dump off to AP, who I like and talked about in my bonus video as well. Another one here, again, you see him rotating up, not as much of a shooter on the pick and roll, so he loves to go and catch or catch and go, depending on what you call it, but basically to catch it with a running start already, allows him to get past his defender, draw the second level of help. Wagner finishes at the rim. He has, finds a way. I mean, it's it's not always pretty, but he's, got, he's quick off the bounce. Gets thin inside the paint. I think he's a really intriguing prospect. Active. Got a good feel for the ball. Kind of always in the mix. Look at the backdoor cut here. Nice extra pass to the corner. The Admiral's got to hit if he wants to stay on the court. One thing Bonga's really got to prove he can do. Knock down threes consistently. He was 40% from, from three this season, but on only about one a game. His form, not great. Again, you see a bit of a line drive. Not all that natural. Not very fluid. His, his move, movement to kind of go up is a little disjointed. Leaves that way short there. Kind of figuring out his own body still. He's 6'8", apparently still growing. Might be 6'9", 6 6'10". 6 and also, he's got to understand his feel, too. On plays like this where Rui, again, you see him handling in transition. Putting pressure on the defense. Gets two on the ball. Bonga's got to be cutting right here. Napier is not your cutter. Napier is going to stay there and knock down corner threes. If Bonga cuts right here, Morris is going to have to make a decision. If he takes Bonga, Napier's got a corner three. If he doesn't, Bonga's got a layup. He's got to move. That's better than him standing there, ending up taking a contested three. Again, the three's big for him, but he's got to know more than that. His game is attacking off the catch, catch and going. Got decent feel for the game, makes some plays for his teammates, but then also makes some mind-boggling ones like this one here. Got to take care of the ball, got to value it. Got to have a plan before rising up to pass. This is, I think, what the Wizards have most intriguing potentially going forward, if they'll actually play man defense and demand it out of guys. They have a lot of long defenders in Rui and Bonga, guys that can get their hands in passing lanes. That's what Bonga can do really, really well. Look at him in a great stance here on Waiters. Bothering his drive, hand on the ball, switching on to Cook, turning the corner. Great switch, staying with the ball, staying down in the stance, taking away the middle, blocking the shot. Does a lot of different things. Thomas Bryant, to me, like I said, Hall of Thoroughly Mediocre. 12 and 7, 41 point percent from three, but under one and a half a game, under two assists a game. Basically, what he wants to do is just float to the perimeter and shoot threes, and it could be a very hit-or-miss experience. Obviously, can make them, but he also just absolutely bricks some of them. In terms of just consistency, I mean, his body doesn't look all that great. He always seems like he's playing a little bit overweight. His form, he's kind of always leaning back, falling. I don't know. I'm just not sold on him. The Wizards gave him a three-year, $25 million deal he's in the first year of. Now, I'm just not sure that he's a starting center. He's got small arms, too, small wingspan. Doesn't mix it up nearly enough with toughness. On this play here, as Troy Brown turns the corner, 
He's got to dive to the basket. His man's going to help. You cut right to the front of the rim. That's what Troy Brown's looking for is you for a dunk. He's nowhere to be found. Bryant's got to follow him all the way to the basket. Has some lazy tendencies. Get up and dunk that. Again, not not really explosive. Looks super slow-footed. And does he shoot it well enough to justify that? On top of just generally playing pretty softly. Look at his screens here. Whiff. Got the ball. Let's go handoff. Swift. Under. Bouncing around like a dancing bear up top. Whiff under. Hit somebody. Screen somebody. And defensively, ooh, that's that's even worse. They're no means by no means good with him in, with a defensive rating of about 115 with him in. With him out, excuse me, but that explodes to over 120 with him in the game. Over five points more. Kawhi. Like I said, no slouch, but you got to be able to resist a little bit more than this as a five-man today's NBA. Look at Kawhi, just bounce Thomas Bryant off of him, put his shoulder down. Marcus Morris, okay, that's not nearly as much of a challenge. He's going to go right at you too. Got to have a little more pride than that. He's got to help them develop some sort of defensive identity. So right now they're the team that everybody thinks is an absolute joke defensively. They also rebound 26.5% of misses with him in. Nearly 2% less with him out. Really poor defensive rebounder. Again, Paul George. Not easy, but you can't give him an uncontested dunk on a pick and roll like this. He cannot move his feet. He looks like he's stuck in quicksand every time. Just a really, really bad defender. And then just awareness. Again, you're guarding JaVale McGee out here, non-shooter. You see Caruso, reject the screen. First of all, right here already, you should have a foot in the paint. Be on the helpline. Be right in the middle. Get there quicker. Be there. Be vertical. He's not even, some defenders could probably take a charge on this. He's not even remotely close to set. He's sliding. He's not even outside the charge circle anymore. Clear foul. He does not move his feet well. And then again, like I mentioned, the rebounding, it's bad. you got to turn around and hit somebody. Look at him. Let baby Giannis just walk right past him for a dunk. Bonga again, good hands. He's in the passing lanes. Thomas Bryant, though, playing the pick and roll. That was decent, a little bit better. No awareness, though, as Cruz was going to cut through the paint. No awareness to pull over. Either go block the shot, or you better get a block out. If you don't come over and block this shot, you can't also let your guy push you out of the way and get an easy put back. He just gets bounced around out there. Again, guarding baby Giannis here. Once again, non-shooter outside the paint. What are you doing out here? Get in the middle of the paint, especially when he drives. That's Deion Waiters. He's got his man beat. you got to be right in the middle. Block this. He doesn't even move. Doesn't even get there. That's bad. Not a defender. Too inconsistent for my liking shooting-wise. Not a playmaker, not a ball handler. Just does a lot of things really poorly that, to me, I don't think he's the answer. I think they got to get a lot better at the center position. But I do love Rui. See what I think of Troy Brown, Jerome Robinson, a bunch of the other young guys I touched on in the bonus video on patreon.com slash scoutwithbrian. Subscribe right here to get 20 bonus videos, super in-depth stuff. Appreciate you guys watching. Talk soon.